All right, ladies, so I'm going to show you something. The babies are sleeping, so I have to be quiet. But I'm going to show you um, how I create an email or a campaign in MailChimp.com. So first of all, you want to make your yourself <clears throat> a customer. So click on List and hit Create List. And then, um, let's see, go to a new list create list okay so the list name so that could be your um, you could put customers and the email you want it coming from is your email and then your name is what you want them to see and then this is just um, I use myself as a group because I like to control it uh, before I send it out so um, but you can do whatever. I'm just going to put a space bar there because I'm just showing you. Um, okay. So then you hit save. Um, and I have to put something here. So I'm just going to put thank you. You have to put something in that box or it yells at you. Okay. So there is, um, your list. Now you want to add a subscriber so add a subscriber and I'm just gonna put myself in there see the thing is um, the thing about the list is uh, when you create a campaign you can actually just share a link and everyone can see it anyway so this is more for social media um, that I use okay so it says mission accomplished <coughs> excuse me so now let's go to campaigns click on create a campaign and then you just want to do a regular campaign so click select and then we're gonna do that thing uh, the list is saying who do you want to send it to and then there's a next button let's see I don't know if it'll let me move it yep there's a next button right here okay let me move this back over sorry for the screen moving okay so name your campaign I put 30 one sale email subject 31 sale and then that's all open you want to track those I do not want to personalize to the field and then I'm going to hit that next button that's in the bottom right hand corner again and then it's just easiest to click uh, one column this is your template for your newsletter and what you're doing. So then I'm going to move my screen over and show you exactly how easy it is to do. Okay, so um, you're going to edit. These are all the boxes in your template. So you're going to edit this. And it's bringing you to the pictures. So, oops, sorry, I'm really confusing you now. Okay, so I want to upload a picture and it's going to show you my screen we're going to go to sale i know i have one here it is okay so we're going to upload that picture and boom there it is how cool is that right okay so this is a box too and in this box you just click on it and you come over here and you edit so here i put my name okay and then save and close and then here you want to go and this is where you put um, 30 one clearance sale okay and then that's where I put the body of what I said which was click on the picture above or go to www.buymybags.com uh, to shop from the Atlas and you get the idea of what I said in my other one I'll give you that link too so whenever you want to link something you want to um, highlight it 
click on this and then type in the website that you want it to go to and hit insert. Okay, so there's your link. Now you want to, I changed the color, so you can click on the first A, more colors because we need pink. Okay, so click whatever you want, click OK, and that turned it pink. Now I want it to be centered, so I'm going to click that, and I want this to be centered, so I'm going to click that, and now it's all centered and pretty. Okay. So, um, what else did I do? Okay, so this I want to, let's see even close. So this picture, I actually want them to click on the picture. So I just clicked on it. Um, and then I want to link this picture. Okay, so when they click on the picture, it's going to take them to my site. www.buymybags.com Click insert. And there we go. Now, I wanted to do the share button so this is when you click on this you'll see that it's a follow button you don't want the follow button you want the share so we're gonna delete this block and then here's the things that you can add so I want to add the social share so I'm gonna drop it right below the picture and now it's put this in. So this gives your customers the opportunity to share your message from uh, or to all of their social media sites. Now I don't like the one that they have there. Um, let's see, how did I do that before? Okay, let's go to style. How about settings? Yeah, settings. Okay, so I like this one better. So I click on that because it was on the black and white one and it's just ugly. So, okay, I have that. Now I went to style and I actually increased the font size. Now this is like all stuff you really don't have to do. It's just what I do. Um, so I increased those buttons to be bigger because I want them to see it, right? Um, then you can mess with the text. You can put pink. Um, you can find a pink that matches. My pink doesn't match. I don't know what I'm doing. But anyways, you can um, change the color of that if you want. Um, and then you can change the font of it if you want. Okay, so anyways, we're back to that and we can hit save. And then at the bottom, you hit next. And then you um, hit send. And then it's going to say prepare for launch, and you hit send. And now it's going to show up in my email. But if you scroll down, see right here, it shows you your link. So you can actually just copy this link right here and send it to all your friends and post wherever you want. So if you click on that link, it takes you to this. If you click on this, it takes you to my site. How easy was that? Like, isn't that just like crazy cool, right? Okay, so um, that's that and it will take you to that. And then you can actually share. So when your customers open this, they have the ability to share it on their timeline. And that's what I'm doing with the giveaway.